Come on. Come in. Put on your giant backpack. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it, everybody. Look how cool she is with her sunglasses. Where are we going? That one. Okay. That one. <laughs> <laughs> the Elgin Pipes National Park is part of the Aboriginal cultural landscape in the traditional country of the Wurundjeri people. It is located 20 kilometres northwest of Melbourne, just off the Calder Highway. Park your car on top of the old volcano and take a walk into the river valley to the awesome stone columns that give this park its name. Yes. Yes. It's very sunny. I'm having some regrets about not bringing any sunglasses. <laughs> sunglasses for the wind. <laughs> We're going to die on the way back up. <laughs> the Organ Pipes Trail is a three kilometre grade two circuit hike and should take approximately one and a half hours to complete, beginning at the visitor centre just off from the car park. Towering above the charming Jackson's Creek, the impressive basalt columns that resemble organ pipes were formed about a million years ago when huge quantities of molten lava were ejected from volcanoes near what is now Sunbury and flowed over the Keelor Plains. These plains are fairly flat except for where streams such as Jackson's Creek have cut deep into the valleys over the years. It's just in. Oh. Zoom's one of those people that goes past the sign that says don't go in there. Naughty. Now you're in jail. <laughs> Rosette Rock is a radial array of basalt columns. The rock formation is seen about 500 metres upstream from the organ pipes and is overhanging rock on the northern bank of the stream. Tessellated pavement is an assortment of basalt columns that's evolved as a result of erosion by the Jackson's Creek, which is seen in the form of pavements about 250 metres upstream of the Rosetta Rock. You ready for the walk back up? where we live now. <laughs> <laughs> this part sucks. This part sucks so much. Whew. I'm pooped. Yeah. 
my fringe is so sweaty underneath. <laughs> what do I do? Still looks good though. <laughs> so, if you only have half a day, oh, easy. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good place to come. Yeah, just so it's like a. Probably you could smash it out in an hour if you really wanted to and you just were going to see just the organ pipes but I'd say if you wanted to see all of the different little features attractions no what's the word I'm looking for <laughs> features is probably right landmarks landmarks that'll do whatever if you want to see all of the different things I'd probably allow about two hours just to really take your time and enjoy it my glasses are getting foggy from Oh my sweat. god, you're so sweaty! <laughs> <laughs> if you have a whole day, I'd probably go further just because of the amount of people that are here. Or, alternatively, come really early in the day. So, mm. the, yeah. Awesome place. Crowd, not, not so awesome to have around. Mm. But that's mm. just because we're used to traveling way, way out of Melbourne, I guess. I definitely think that, yeah, the proximity to Melbourne and the like ease of the path like not that last like coming back up <laughs> but the whole thing's like paved pretty much and you can take you know like a wheelchair or a pram if you have guns for pushing back up the way <laughs> yeah there's quite a few wheelchair oh uh, sorry quite a few prams around so cops just rocked up kicking everyone out it's closing time all right i'm Bye, opening the lollies oh, just getting stuck into the <laughs> see Bye. ya She dropped her thing. Why don't you like my gift? I'm so sorry. <laughs>